Hey guys, Eric Sue here. Hope you're doing well. Hey, I got another awesome video here for you guys. I'm back in my kitchen. We're going to be making a special butternut squash soup. So stay tuned. All right, you guys, if you're new to this channel, welcome, and I know you guys will learn something new today. So remember to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button and notification button so you can get future videos just like this. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thank you so much for returning, and I know you guys will learn something new as well. All right, so today's recipe actually comes um, in my document, and I will link um, or put the link in the description so that you guys can get this uh, recipe. There's other recipes in this as well, but today it comes from that recipe book, okay? And today we're making butternut squash soup, and it's a curried um, butternut squash soup, so it's gonna have a little different flavor to it. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the ingredients, and then we're going to go ahead and put it together, and so, let me do that first. Let's go ahead and talk about the ingredients. Okay, so it's actually uh, only six ingredients that you guys will need. Okay, and so let's go through them real quick here. Of course, you need the superstar, which is the two butternut squashes. Okay, you're gonna, I'm gonna peel them and then cut them into cubes. So that's the first thing. The next thing you'll need is some virgin olive oil. Okay, you'll need two tablespoons. Okay, and then you're gonna use apples, you're gonna get two uh, apples, you're gonna peel them and then cut them up, okay? You also, it says a, let's see here, a cup and a half, so I think two onions will do, if not, we'll add some more. And then you'll need three cups of vegetable stock and chicken stock. We're gonna just use chicken stock um, today, okay? so three cups of, so total six cups, okay? So total six cups. And then you're gonna use curry powder. I just picked this up, um, local grocery store. Um, you can use uh, a sweet or a medium curry if you want. Um, this one doesn't seem to be too bad. Um, so we're going to use curry. This one's called Spice Islands. You might be able to get something else, but you're gonna use that as well. And the amount is uh, two tablespoons, okay? All right, so the, the way to do this is to uh, heat the oil in the stock pot, it says. Add the onions and saute 68 minutes until soft. You're gonna add the curry powder, the squash, and the apple. And then you're gonna saute that for two to three minutes. Once you do that, you're gonna add the vegetables and chicken stock. And then you're gonna simmer for 25 to 30 minutes or until the squash is soft. Once that is uh, done, you're gonna go ahead and puree with the immersion blender, or sometimes people have used it in a, a blender, and then um, you're done. That's um, the butternut squash soup, and then you can drizzle walnut oil or homemade croutons on top, okay? Pretty simple, pretty easy, and pretty straightforward. I'm gonna go ahead and um, get these butternut squash peeled and chopped, um, get these apples peeled and chopped, and get these onions peeled and chopped. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna cook. All right. All right, you guys, so I just finished uh, peeling the butternut squash. We're gonna go ahead and finish cutting it up into cubes and then we're gonna go ahead and cook. All right, you guys, cut all the butternut squash, got all the apples done, got the onions done. And now it's all putting it together in the pot. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, you guys, so let's get started and let's Start with the oil, and we're gonna go ahead and put 
two tablespoons of extra olive oil in the pot. We're gonna add the onions next. We're gonna let that saute. Now, I don't know how many of you guys have made this soup before or this is the first time you um, have seen it done. You may have been thinking about it, but I think in my opinion, the, the part that takes the longest is cutting up the butternut squash. Um, and this cooking part is just pretty much, uh, the cooking takes care of itself. And so as long as you have the proper portions of every ingredient, everything should be uh, tasting great, okay? So, got another, I don't know, five more minutes here, I think. And then um, once this is all softened, uh, we're gonna go ahead and add the butternut squash, the apple, and let that cook in. And uh, we're gonna add the um, chicken stock. Once the chicken stock is in, the, uh, the pot, we're gonna let that simmer for 25 to 30 minutes. And that's where we can just rest and then um, prepare to, um, we have a hand blend uh, blender, so we're gonna use a hand blender and um, soften the, the butternut squash or puree it, and then um, we can serve it. A few moments later. All right guys, gotta show you what it looks like uh, about uh, five minutes now. We're gonna go another minute or so and um, Then we're gonna add the butternut squash and apple All right, gonna go ahead and add the apple All right, you guys, I don't think this is gonna fit, so we're gonna transfer all of this into a bigger pot. A few moments later. All right, you guys, so I messed up and used the incorrect size pot, and I'm now gonna transfer all of this into this bigger pot. This, I think, is a eight quart pot or something like that. Uh, and so I'm gonna have to transfer all of this in here. All right, let's make sure you guys use the proper pot and, uh, and then everything will go smoother. All right, so let's put some, a little bit more oil in here. I think it's losing the oil. So I'm gonna, just a little bit more oil in there because we missed it from the pot. Just a little bit. I'm just gonna eyeball it, maybe one teaspoon. One teaspoon. All right. And we're gonna let that cook. Right. I guess I could always mess up too, right? But anyhow, you won't make that mistake because I made it for you. And so this is going to be perfect. Let this cook. And then we're gonna put the stock in here. So it's all in here. There won't be any issues. And uh, we're gonna have awesome soup, okay? And so, again, this is butternut squash with apple curry sauce, or curry, and uh, let's put that curry in there now. All right, two tablespoons goes in. We'll mix that up. It says three cups, so we're gonna add three cups. Okay, six cups goes in. 
30 minutes, 25, 30 minutes until soft. And then we're going to use a hand blender to puree it. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Okay. All right, I'm gonna cover this up and let it cook for 30 minutes. Everything will soften down. Now we just have to wait. A few moments later. All right, you guys, we're coming up on 25 minutes, and this is what the soup is looking like right now. Whew. It's nice and hot. Let's see that. All right, we'll have to chill it down. But let's go from afar here. Anyhow, I think you can see that. It looks like it is definitely boiling and let's see how soft it is so when once it's soft that looks pretty soft i can go another few more minutes here i think just to make it even more soft okay and um and then once it's uh at that soft level we're going to use a hand mixer we have a hand mixer and we're going to uh, puree it okay so I'm going to put another five minutes right there and um, let that sit and cook a little bit longer. All right, we're going to come back and then hand puree it. Okay, that's what it looks like so far. A few moments later. All right, you guys, it's been another five minutes or so. And looks like it's really, really soft now. Um, let me just go ahead and move it around. Oh yeah, it's nice and soft, okay. And so um, I'm gonna go ahead and take the hand blender. Got it right here. It's a uh, real, just a basic uh, Hamilton Beach um, nothing fancy, um, blender, two speeds, two speeds, and um, just a regular blade on the end here, okay? And so, um, go ahead and put this in, turn the heat down. Uh, this can be pretty hot, so be careful, okay? So, Go ahead and turn it on level one. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and blend it some more on uh, level two. Just look at this consistency. It's pretty good. You could always do a little bit more puree to make it smoother. As you, uh, oh, there's a few more chunks in here, so I'm going to puree that. So yeah, if you keep it going just a little bit longer to really um, puree everything. Okay, we can. See if it's nice and smooth, more smooth than before. Ah, uh, it looks perfect, right? How does that look, you guys? Pretty good, right? Okay. And so, I think this is good to go and ready to taste test, but that's what it is. Okay, so, butternut squash, you guys. There you go. All right. All right, you guys, here we go. There is the soup. The soup we just made. We're gonna do a quick um, pour here to see what it tastes like. So let's do that right now. 
All right, here we go. All right, check that out, you guys. Okay, let's see what it tastes like. Okay, not bad, not bad. Could use a little bit of, um, I think they said to put, um, which is the extra um, walnut oil or homemade croutons and um, even a little bit more kick. Um, sometimes we'll put a little salt, but so far, so good. All right, go ahead and make this and enjoy. And if you like this video, remember to smash the like button, hit the notification button and subscribe button so you can get future videos just like this. Again, thank you for uh, tuning in and welcome to my kitchen and we'll see you guys in the future. Bye.